Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And I've kind of got a mess in between my equipment shed and our workshop. And today I want to work on getting that cleaned up. But more importantly, I need to do something about this rock. My new building is supposed to be here any day. And it's going to set right back there. And right now that rock pile is blocking the entrance. And I actually need to dig that out more so that we can drive in and out of there. So I've got the backhoe on the tractor for digging these trenches down here, but I think it's too wet for that. So I was thinking if I get that rock pile out of the way, I can start digging out this area with the backhoe and getting ready for the building. Sounds like a lot of seat time on the tractor, which is always a good thing in my mind. So let's get started. As we re-watch this, I really wasn't trying to get that close to the building. I wanted to leave 8 to 10 inches, then come back perpendicular to the building and dump the stone up against it at a better angle. And that was going fine until I started back dragging. When I was back dragging, I did not have the bucket in the float position, which takes all the weight off of the front wheels and makes the tractor have a tendency to just walk around and I didn't realize how close I drifted to the building and when I lifted the bucket that's when it jabbed in. Really could have been prevented just by paying a little bit more attention. Well that sucked. I thought I wasn't even worried about being too close. I was like eight or ten inches away from the building but I just slid down just enough. Maybe turned the wheels the wrong way I'm not sure but I caught it. So Luckily, I've got some more of this siding that matches this. I'm thinking if I let the bucket down a little bit and pull forward and turn, it'll come out. I also realized I'm not in four-wheel drive. I normally always keep it in four-wheel drive, and we switched it to two-wheel the other day, so that might have been why it slid different than I thought it would. Well, just when I thought I didn't have enough to do, I poked a hole in my building, and uh, now I've got a repair to make. But right now, I'll just get the rock out, spread the way I wanted, then we'll come back to that.
tell the story about the city line and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant, paycheck. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that I need, but there is pregnant, paycheck. Well, I got two seams on this pretty good. And I don't know how you fix something like this, but I'm just gonna put something together and we'll see how it works. Actually, I'm pretty darn sure it's gonna work. It just won't look perfect, but I don't, I don't really worry about that. Well, I need to clean the inside of this so my adhesive will stick. All right, now I'm gonna put this Loctite PL Max Premium, whatever that is. It says it's good for metal or any surface, but I was searching for something that specifically said good for metal. I'm gonna put that in the three raised areas and along the top and the bottom. This stuff has a weird consistency and doesn't wanna lay a bead on like caulking or most glues I've used. seems to be sticking. That adhesive has the consistency of silly putty. It's thick and doesn't want to stick to anything, but once it's on there, it's on there.
Well, that's not the best repair you're gonna see, but there's no longer a hole in the building. All right, well, if you've been thinking about running your tractor into your building and jabbing the bucket through the side, having done it myself, my advice is don't. It seems fun, but it's really not worth it. Outside of that, hopefully I made a little bit of progress today. I got some junk cleaned up from over here. I got about half of my rock moved. And I'm going to keep going over this probably three or four more sets of times with that plate compactor and see if I can really get this down tight. But that'll wrap up the video. I appreciate you taking time to watch. You should see a couple more of our videos on the screen right here. And I'll see you next time.